A little girl is thrown into a world with only a whisk to guide her. Now what would you do? This is Four Place Review, Selma and the Whisk. This game was developed by a Polish game studio called Toucan Studios. Now when we got the game, sadly it didn't come with audio because it's still in development. So the basic story of the game is go forward, never look back and always collect the lights. So the controls of the game is pretty simple. Your mouse is the whips and Salma will follow the whips wherever it goes to. Now remember, Salma will always follow the whips. So if you decide to go across, I don't know, maybe a pit of lava, she will go into the pit of lava. If Salma and the whips are too far away from each other, Salma will die from fear. In this game, you use the whips to interact with objects, such as solving puzzles or perhaps just moving forward. The whips has an energy bar and if that energy bar drops, the whips will die and therefore, Salma will die too. Now the whips does not only work as a puzzle solver or moving Salma. The whips can also tell Salma to stop moving in order for you to scout ahead and find out what perils you have to go through. So this game is very Tim Burton-ish inspired game. And the, along the lines of uh, Corpse Bride to Coraline, uh, if you want a better example of this, then maybe you want to check out Badlands and Limbo. They have very similar feel to this game. Other than that, the game is very physics puzzle based orientated. So that means, you know, some puzzles you need physics to think about it and some puzzles you need to think before you act. So generally, this game has a very hellish feel to it. Now at the end of the day, this game is still a demo and there are many things that are still under development. I really hope you check out this game on their website and hopefully buy the game when it releases on the third quarter of this year. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, social media, whatever that you people do nowadays, yeah? Mm. Oh.